three, two, one. And my foot was just like dangling. Oh, this you crazy mother. Yo! Hey, lady. You don't have OCD. You forgot your spaghetti. You have OBCD. Okay, thank you. I didn't know my psychiatrist was on here. I'm Ashley Darby. That should be my middle name. Amberlynn Hungry Reed. <laughs> I don't know, I just feel so disconnected. She was like, you're healthy. So much care. But you are obese. Mm -hmm. Hello? Is anyone home? Hey, girls. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this part of the internet is called Girl World, but more specifically, you have entered the Amberverse. The Amberverse is made up of all different types of reaction and compilation channels called Hater Nation, and gets a bad rap from people on the outside looking in for being quote fat phobic, which is simply not true. Not all of us, but a lot of us started off as supporters, but were quickly humbled by the blatant disrespect, ungratefulness, constant lies, the price of their animals, partners and audience, and the many many scandals all in the name of money. So if you or anyone you know is new to this part of the internet, or if you're a long time hater and just need a refresher, let's take a look at just some of the many reasons Hater Nation has come to be. This first moment that comes to mind is when Twinkie was in pain. She claimed there were no vets around, left her at home alone, decided to go shopping and out to eat instead of getting Twonk the help she needed. Today has been kind of a hard morning at the beginning because I noticed Twinkie was acting different last night. Usually when I come home, she'll like jump on me. Um, she likes to jump on the couch jump onto our bed and stuff like that. And I realized she wasn't doing those things. What got me really worried is you guys know how um, my bed is on the floor. Twinkie wouldn't even jump on that. She went up it like super slow. And then once she got on the bed, she couldn't really walk. I literally sat there bawling my eyes out because she was in so much pain that she was shaking. So we don't really have like any 24 hour vet places which is kind of dumb in my opinion because you never know what's gonna happen at freaking 3 a.m tomorrow since it's monday i need to call a vet and it's like an emergency because twinkie's in horrible pain i don't know if it's like her joints i don't know if she like while we weren't home she like jumped off the couch wrong or i've cried too much about it <laughs> but i'm just like really worried and i hope there's something that the vet could say to make me feel better like um, you guys probably are like, oh my god, why aren't you wearing makeup? Because, like, I've been crying and I don't want to wear makeup and I need my face to breathe. I'm gonna show Michael B. Petty's reaction to this video because it is how the whole community felt at the time. And he also shows how there actually was a vet open right near the restaurant she went to. I hope there's something that the vet could say to make me feel better. Like, what is, her, what, what to make you feel better? Your dog is hurting, dog. Like... Who cares about you and your feelings? She sounds like she's in excruciating pain. Like, I'd be more focused on making sure my dog was okay, not how my feelings are. Um, you guys probably are like, oh my god, why aren't you wearing makeup? Because, like, I've been- Who cares? Instantly into herself, dude. Like, I- She is a narcissist through and through. Like, immediately after this whole entire sob story, that entire sob story was just to make you feel bad for her. That's really what that was about. I don't know, I'd feel so a type of way. Because I had to get oh, we're at Walmart, so we can go to Walmart. Are you really gonna sit here and tell me that there is not a 24-7 vet? And I can't. But we're gonna go to Walmart. Our, our poor dog was sick, and she can't even walk, and she can't even get on the bed, but we're gonna go to Walmart. So, we're at Walmart because I had to get medicine. Becky's always behind me. And I'm also going to get Twinkie some treats, some joint pain treats or whatever that helps with her joints. I don't even know. Those aren't going to help your dog. Okay, you need to take your dog to the vet. Of course, Amber's solution is food. Of course. Guaranteed in two weeks, save money at the vet. In two weeks. <laughs> you have but two weeks. Like, um, you, put in their water? you were talking about needing to go to the emergency vet. See, the thing is, I don't know if her, it's her joints. I don't know if it's her hips. I'm worried, though. Like, I can't. I felt so bad leaving her. Oh, but we're gonna go out to eat now, too? Oh, okay. They're at Chili's. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do something I never do. Let's see Chili's. No, 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 no. 24-7 vet in Somerset, Kentucky. So, about us. Locations and hours. Hours of operation, blah, blah, blah. After hours emergencies. During office hours, call the regular clinic. 
And be prepared to dial extension number 30. After hours, the on-call emergency veterinarian can be reached. After hours, emergency fees will apply if your pet must be seen. So it seems to me like it's possible to get your vet, your pet into a vet after hours. Let's see where the Chili's is. The Chili's is a six minute drive to the hospital. I'm so, you know, dude, I can't. The things that take priorities in this woman's life are astounding to me. I'm not gonna buy this whole, we're worried sick, we'll go beyond, I'm the best, best firm. On oh, it's even on the same fucking road. Shocker. Calling Amber out on her lies is what a lot of us reactors do. But for Amber, it's much easier to scream fat phobia than to take accountability for her actions. Becky, hi daddy, I love you. Huh? She's a, she's a hood rat. I mean, you can't say that. Oh my God. It's cause she said it. It's because I said it in high school. She def did say the N word on her blog in the past. But see, you literally just said in the past, past. The definition for past is, you know, happened a while ago, even if it was yesterday past just because she said it on a blog literally back in the early 2000s wasn't everybody walking around saying it black on black on black on black oh, of course you when would. did i become such a blackie don't say that wait what do you mean that doesn't sound good that's like emo racism burning the flag that's pretty equal in my opinion because this is our country this is the United States of America, and that flag represents us and who we are. But the things that these people are doing, if anything, is actually the same in level of worseness. Do you get what I'm saying? Because for one, just because I did not vote does not mean Donald Trump is not my president just as much as he's yours. Um, I think it's cowardly and pretty immature and a complete waste of a vote if people go and vote, but they're sitting there voting for Spongebob. They're voting for the gorilla that got shot. Rest in peace, we all love him, but that's a waste of a vote. Voting for Michael Jackson, voting for yourself. People do these things, have done these things, and they did these things this year, but yet I'm getting bitched at because I didn't go waste my time voting. Perhaps one of the most damning moments was when Amber monetized and published a video claiming her ex-boyfriend Casey had f***ed her, then wrote a poem admitting that she had, oopsie, used the wrong word when describing what allegedly happened to her. Um, I've had a lot of like random relationships, like, don't even consider them though, but like, my first like live-in relationship was with a girl named Cassidy. I feel very, um, strongly about this and I feel like it's okay for me to say her name because she's transgender now so she's not Cassidy no longer so I'm able to say her name because she's a once was person like we've been together for about three years now at this point and I feel myself slowly I stopped being like sexually attracted to her a little bit after like two years of being together it started to dwindle this is when things got really bad. Um, oof. I don't even know how to share this, but I'm gonna have to. Um, okay, so Cassidy was very sexually strived. Like, is that even a thing? I don't know. She really thought I was attractive. She really was sexually attracted to me and she always wanted to like have sex. And I stopped feeling that for her. It made her f***ing pissed. Um, and she would literally sit there and beg me. At first it was like cute little begs, like, oh, come on, baby, whatever. But then as time gradually went on, it became, you're gonna fucking touch me whether you like it or not. And I was like, you can't force me. And little did I know she can. Um, she would punch me on my arms and she would continuously do it until I agreed to make love to her or have sex, whatever you want to consider it. Um, but I was pretty much being like, that is what I consider it because I continuously would say no to her. So I was curious why she, you know, about this video. And I was like, what is it? Cause I don't, I don't really care what she does in her life. Her life is hers. My life is mine. We've moved on. It's been six years. My fiance told me that she's calling me 
an abuser and a rape. That got my blood boiling. Because that's not true. But for this video to be posted, it, it pissed, pissed me off to no end. Everything in that video was such bull that I can't even, I can't even describe the bullshit that was in that video. I was, when we start da started dating, I should say, I was 15 years old. 15! When we met. She's two years older than me. But the things that happened afterwards, I kind of regretted our whole entire relationship. And I hate to say it, but I do regret our whole entire relationship. I do. Speaking up by Amber Lynn Reed. Let's see. Who does everyone believe? R-A-P-E. Rain and petals eavesdrop. I used the wrong word. Rain and petals eavesdrop. I used the wrong word. Rain and petals eavesdrop. I used the wrong word. My mental hygiene has been rotten and stirred. Not only had she just admitted that Casey did not rape her, but she was then caught mocking that exact poem during a live stream, completely diminishing any credibility that was left. Rain and petals eavesdrop. Pa. Pa. And then we have the side of Amber that loves to criticize slash critique others, but cannot take criticism herself. This girl in my class is wearing way too much makeup. I might wear a lot, but it looks good. This girl is wearing colors of a clown. Dear know-it-all teacher, fuck off. You don't know everything and I just proved it. So shove your college degree up your butt by -och. Sincerely, Amberlyn. Dear bus driver, stop being an asshole. People like me are why you have a job. Get the stick out your ass and come to work with at least a smile. We went into Texas for house today and when we went to go sit down there was this girl. You know, to me it looked like she was maybe like 50 pounds bigger than me. And she was also sitting at a table with her like chunky friend. I couldn't help but almost like judge this morbidly obese girl. Like I am sitting there almost like judging this girl. Like I was more so looking at her thinking I'm so sad for her. Like I'm sad that she's she's obese. I really almost didn't even want to sit there because I felt like we were going to draw attention because it's two really big girls and I couldn't stop staring at her. Like all I could think about is like I'm so sad for her. Like why is she eating out? Like I almost wanted to grab her and just be like eat healthy, lose weight. Girls are starting to wear like these shirts as dresses and it don't look good. I've seen it more than baby once. Dresses? Huh? They call them baby doll dresses. I understand that but it, it, it don't look that great. It looks really weird like something is missing. And especially this one girl in the Cheesecake Factory, like literally we almost saw her butt. So it literally looks like they're wearing their boyfriend's t-shirt and <laughs> there's nothing on underneath and they're out in public. There are girls outside right now that are taking selfies in front of a rock wall. They're being are you serious? Stop! <laughs> you made me nervous. If I could change anything, it would be like your priorities. What does that mean? I just feel like maybe your priorities are a little off. I took a bite of the mashed potatoes. Ricky is an amazing cook. Sorry, I'm trying to you. It's just you cook things I don't really like. Yeah. Healthy. You look so tiny because I'm like closer to the camera than you. You're closer to the camera and your seat's like way up higher than yeah. you. People always tell me, you know, you'd look really good with short hair, but I feel like I disagree. I feel like people with rounder, fatter faces look bad with short hair because it makes their face look rounder and fatter. Um, I feel like I told you guys that Destiny has not gained weight since she's been with me. I've said that at least a hundred times. But she has gained weight since she's been with me. And when I see her eat something that's bad for her, it breaks my heart because she doesn't understand nutrition like I do. And I met Destiny and she was very set in her weight and she didn't... She didn't understand like how to lose weight or anything and so like I kind of got in that groove where I didn't care either because she accepted me and she loved me. But of course I didn't weigh in because I said that I'm not going to be weighing in but Crystal weighed in. If you guys don't know who Crystal is, Crystal is my girlfriend. And in two days she is down five pounds. She's down five pounds in two days. I know she's not going to be losing weight that fast like in a month from now but a couple vlogs ago we went to the 
emergency room because she was having chest pains and they said it might be acid reflex but we don't think that's the case her symptoms don't seem very acid reflex sometimes it does i'm thinking maybe asthma the appointment kind of rubbed me the wrong way i feel like doctors a lot of the time want to hope the best and no 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 why don't you just do the test now because you could be wrong my take on doctors is kind of negative because i feel like some doctors are also kind of lazy <laughs> They gave her like this pink stuff because they think it's acid reflux and I literally kind of got like an attitude and I'm like <laughs> Really acid reflux? It's like I could come in here and sprain my ankle and they'll blame it on acid reflux <laughs> Ugh. This was the worst hospital experience ever, but when they were trying to give uh, Destiny was trying to give blood like the guy had to use like an ear flashlight to find her vein like he was just creeping me out just that whole thing literally took about 20 minutes just to find her vein like it's really not that hard i'm just being honest and the doctor's like so you have a stomach ache bam blames on acid reflex like i mean that's just what they do because they're lazy like i was expecting the main doctor to come back in and talk to her and see if she's feeling better but nope just one of his little minions came back in and i do feel like sometimes they're a little greedy and i just want to say that the doctor the main doctor we saw for less than a minute was practically falling asleep. I really believe that when you're a doctor, you should be a doctor, not for the money, not for the privileges, not for anything other than the fact that you wanna help people. And I just feel like they didn't help us today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sure you didn't. Like, you can give it a thumbs down if you want because thumbs down those doctors, like. But as soon as Amber is critiqued, criticized, or really anything that she doesn't like is said about her, this is how she reacts. I can't handle the rude comments i'm i'm not that strong i was on the phone it's kind of like the phone with some subscribers these subscribers have been the most rude to me i feel like i contacted one of them and i kind of felt like she needed to know like the real me so i think i'm gonna end this now but i just want to answer one question really quick because it's something that i'm getting a lot on my all my social medias is why i disabled the comments it's because of the rude comments honestly I don't really want the negativity and I just feel so much better with the comments disabled and I'm getting a certain somebody in my comments down below saying like I'm like a chameleon and I don't know who I am. I was one person with Crystal and one person with Destiny which is completely false. There's a lot of different sides of people that's just how it is having a personality. I don't really know what this person means. I'm definitely not a chameleon. I am myself through and through like I will not change for a single soul I am me that is how it's gonna stay and if you don't like who I am just goodbye I'm a really good person and I don't want anyone to think otherwise I feel like my IQ dropped from watching this wasn't your IQ low already Amber Lynn for F's sake your head is buried deep in denial's a-hole your kidneys are failing, woman, because you neglected to remove your gallbladder stones, which can potentially travel down the kidney ducts and block them. Um, yeah, I know, duh. I think the evolution of Amberlynn's double chin is the most interesting thing about this channel. You know, but it could be bigger. It definitely could be bigger, and it's not, so I think we're okay. I, I think that just sums, up, sums it up. Could be bigger, but it's not. So we're good. I hate that I have to film this video, but it's part of the binge eating saga that is going on on my channel right now. I am being vulnerable and I almost feel like I'm being mocked. There's just so much disrespect around my eating disorder. The comments are disgusting. People are still calling me a liar about what I ate during a binge day. That's crazy. The people who believe my video, there are a lot of you who are just like, this is so disgusting. This is pathetic. I can't believe you're like this. You do not say that to people with an eating disorder. Eating disorders are not chosen. You don't wake up one day and choose to binge, to have that urge, choose to have an eating disorder and have it ruin your life. What messes with me the most is that this is just such a toxic 
community. This community is so toxic and I did not create that for myself. A lot of people think I did, but I didn't. It is the reaction channels. For anyone to think it's okay to literally react to someone with mental illness problems, with indecisiveness, because of mental illness problems, someone who has a cycle because of mel mental illness problems, someone who is morbidly obese because of an eating disorder and a food addiction is unbelievable. It's so crazy to wrap my head around that I literally am getting paid for people to treat me as a punching bag because that's literally it. People enjoy making fun of my disorder because I'm Amberlynn Reed. I posted a snapchat rant that people expect an apology for and i'm not gonna give it literally pathetic and i will go to my grave saying that majority of you are f***ing idiots and i'm not gonna step down from that and you know it your damn self and if you can look in the mirror every single night and be totally happy with yourself that makes you even more of a sociopath so that's sad. And I do must have to say, I'm a strong bitch and I will continue to be a strong bitch. And the best part of the whole thing is that these people think that their shit don't stink and they cannot take the heat themselves. These people are weak minded. And that is the reason why it is so easy for them to come for me because like I've said before I am easy to hate and you are a despectful piece of shit so I deal with thousands of people doing that on a daily basis and I know it's because I'm fat if I am doing the same shit even less than another youtuber but it's okay for them to do it that's a double standard and it's because of how I look. And it's because I'm fat. The videos with my body as a thumbnail get more views. The videos of me eating get more views. But I'm discriminated against because of my weight. If anyone deserves an apology, it is me. I will not apologize for how I felt in that Snapchat rant because everything I said is 100% true. Speaking of binge eating disorder, feel free to check out my Amberlynn's Biggest Loss series to see how she claims to have officially been diagnosed for the first time at least three separate times. The reason I point this out is because she would fly into a rage at anyone that didn't get her food and would blame it on what she called the binge monster. When her audience would question if she really had bad, based on what they've seen, she would cry fat phobia. Flash forward to 2023 when she clickbaited getting weight loss surgery, again. In order to get the surgery she couldn't have that diagnosis so what did she do? She claimed to no longer have it and even said she didn't think she ever did. Now that she was denied the surgery, once again she is trying to claim she in fact does have the disorder. You have to be honest with everything. And seeing the dietitian and seeing the psychologist, I was very, very upfront and honest I have been diagnosed with binge eating in the past. If you were to binge after weight loss surgery, you could get really sick. So with the psychologist, he was able to see that I was past that stage of my life. The psychologist said, you know, binging is eating three times what you normally would as a person, not what is a normal amount to eat as a person, but you. I overeat, sure but I never eat three times or four times the amount that I normally would eat, but I don't have issues binging. I am binging and I wanna show you what it is. We have a fry and four mozzarella sticks, which I've already ate two. There it is for you guys. Binging will forever be a part of my life. My psychologist has to beat that in my head that, you know, I'm not just gonna not binge. It's something I'm going to suffer with forever. Do I have binge eating? So I don't. I do not binge. Therapist said so. I say so. I think the question everybody wants to know is what happened to the binge monster? Yikes on bakes. Okay, so question 30 is do you think you have binge eating disorder again? Honestly, 
I don't know. I feel like I have been binging. So I was told when I was an outpatient that you can binge and not have binge eating disorder that there are people out there without the disorder who do binge that's like only if you binge a couple times a year um but if you're doing it a couple times a week then that's when there's definitely an issue and for me it's been happening a lot uh probably the worst my food intake has been in a very very long time i almost want to say worse than it's been in a couple of years. And despite all the backlash because of her lies, mistreatment of her animals, audience and partners, the clickbaiting, gaslighting, and the huge mental toll YouTube has taken on her, she still blames the backlash on her weight and continues the cycle. Why, you may ask. Um, I wanna talk about like the fear of losing weight because my channel has been very much reflected around the fact that I am super morbidly obese. My happy videos, my videos where I'm in a good headspace, they do not reflect the same as when I am train wreck Lynn, troll Lynn, eating Lynn, gaining Lynn. Um, the views do not reflect the same at all. So it, there is a large fear of like, what will my channel be like? when I do lose the weight. I get so many people telling me, you're gonna lose all your viewers once you lose weight and stuff like that. And that scares me because if that's true, it's like, okay, well, this is my job. What am I gonna, what am I gonna do then? Obviously, I'm gonna have to get a new job. Honestly, I, I do have a fear of losing viewers because of success. Do I choose health or do I choose you know, money because I need to put a roof over my head. So do I choose health or do I choose career? I don't clickbait, honey. Um, plus I never saw an issue with clickbaiting. Like, I just don't like you because you're inconsistent and you gaslight your audience and mistreat others. Okay. <clears throat> Let's say I do gaslight my audience. Who freaking cares? Who cares? I'm not perfect. I lost 100 pounds by eating rice and potatoes. Uh, rice and potatoes are not bad for you. You guys, a lot of you have a fear of carbs. Don't. Carbs give you energy. I know a lot of comments are going to be arguing about that with me. Um, I understand I'm morbidly obese. I know how to lose weight better than anybody. I just don't do it. Honey, no. don't be scared of carbs. <laughs> but also don't take advice from someone my size, so... If you are watching me because of how I look and the number on my scale, it's fat phobia. You are watching me in awe and you're calling me a train wreck because of my weight. Like I literally got cancer, uterine cancer because of my weight. If anything, I should be like the walking proof or walking like example of what not to be. and. To lose your weight but i did this to myself so um i opened this because it said perishable i'm not the fuck problem <laughs> some of you are it's like i try to do something nice but this is the shit that i deal with outside of the camera fat shaming isn't real what do you mean it's fat phobia it's constructive criticism what is that you're sending alcohol to an alcoholic <laughs> i hope you have fun sitting next to Trump in hell. You don't send a huge pie and bread to a weight loss channel. You don't do it. Um, this channel is not a weight loss channel. So this is not a weight loss channel and I just kind of want to stress that to people. It, it's not a weight loss channel. Not a weight loss channel. So if you guys remember my aunt situation, when I uploaded a video about how my aunt doesn't talk to me anymore because I'm fat. They were greatly offended. But at the time, I was vulnerable and I was upset and I really felt like blaming my weight on everything was just like the easiest way to go. Like I have a weight issue and I have, you know, mental issues that cause me to be bigger. You don't just get this big for no reason. And I kind of wanted to ignore all that and just be like, oh, my aunt doesn't talk to me because I'm fat. I just thought it would be easier. I pushed her away because of just who I am and how I am as a person. It's really not has anything to do with my weight. No, my aunt 
you know, she didn't stop talking to me because I'm fat. She stopped talking to me because of the issues I brought upon her, I guess. Whenever someone asks me, you know, oh, she's gaining weight or whatever, I always just say I'm losing. I, I don't need the backlash at all. I just, I don't want it. I just feel like it's so much safer to just say what people want to hear and what I feel like people will not hate me for. I I've went to the dentist today. So now she's like really numb and in a lot of pain and... It's starting to hurt. It's starting to hurt? Mm -hmm. Oh no. I'm hungry. I have ate since yesterday. You should probably get some food. Like, do you have a crush on Libby? And I'm just like, uh, no. Libby's actually a really, really good friend of ours. Someone else also asked if Libby was a lesbian, and no, she's not. So, do you have a thing for Libby? And I'm like, no, she's 15. Yeah, she's 15. She's fixing to be 16. Libby, you want to show them your bathing suit? Oh, okay. okay. It's cute. Um, okay. But anyways, Libby, you've been in the shower for half an hour. <laughs> Libby, why do you take 30, no, actually it was like 40 minute shower. So we were at a restaurant. <laughs> Some random dude walks up to us and he's like, hey, can I sit with you guys? So he like sat with us and we've been talking to him for how long has it been? Like four hours. Somehow we ended up at the beach at night. You have a between your legs. Congratulations. Okay, so I'm getting comments. Okay, by one particular person saying that Libby hanging out with us is like two straight guys hanging out with a 15 year old. I'm like, what? Like I met Libby when I first moved here and somehow like every time we kind of like see each other, we would click really, really well because she is, her mature level is pretty high. And I had no idea she was 15. She's fixing to be 16 in 11 days. Like sometimes age does not matter. Like, anywhere you go, anywhere you go, give it up. I need people to know that, like, mental things are it's scary, like. There are girls outside right now that are taking selfies in front of a rock wall. This is my life, and I do what I want. 